We do want to now shift our focus to northern Israel, Israel, where soldiers have been involved in new clashes with militants from Hezbollah. That is an organization like Hamas that the U.S. considers a terrorist organization. Imtiaz Tayyab is in Moran. That is a kibbutz in northern Israel. Imtiaz, good morning. What has happened there overnight? Hey, Nora, good morning to you. Well, the U.S. has warned the Iranian-backed Hezbollah movement, which is Lebanon's most powerful military force, not to get involved in Israel's war with Hamas. But for four days now, Hezbollah, along with Palestinian factions inside Lebanon, have been trading cross-border fire with Israeli forces. So far, at least three of those fighters have been killed and three Israeli soldiers, adding to the already large number of Israeli soldiers who were killed during Hamas's massive assault on southern Israel, including 27-year-old Israeli-American combat soldier Adia Ziring, who was at his parents' house when he got the call to fight, and it'd be the last time they'd see him alive. Down the road from his childhood home, Adia Ziring was laid to rest. Arye. I sat in your room last night, and it hurt because I could feel you. The grandson of Holocaust survivors, Seating stayed in the military after his mandatory service to protect his country, his parents said. And he loves sports. He loved the Boston Red Sox. Debbie and Mark Seating moved to Israel from New York 28 years ago. On Friday night, they were dancing in the kitchen with their eldest son to celebrate the end of the Jewish holidays. Fifteen hours later, then we get that knock on our door, which is a knock you would never want to receive. Aryeh was among the first Israeli soldiers killed in action in southern Israel at the height of Hamas's brutal assault. You never want to get the knock on the door. With the two arm army officers outside and this woman came in and she said to us, your son was killed today. And I think that's, you know, one of the things we're going through now is he's still very present and we feel his energy, but he's not coming back. More than a thousand people have been confirmed dead, including 14 Americans. At least a hundred are being held captive inside Gaza. The number of U.S. citizens there is still unknown. For Debbie and Mark Seating, despite the pain of losing Adia, it hasn't shattered their hope for a better future. We believe in peace. We believe in, you know, coexistence. We don't want to eliminate anybody from this world or this planet. Everybody should have a, a place to live. Something they said their son believed in. And like I once carried you under my heart for almost a year, you will live on forever in my heart. This morning, thousands of families in Israel and inside Gaza are suffering just like the seedings as they try to make sense of all they've lost. Nora. Oh, MTS Tayab, it is so much for those families. I so feel for them. Thank you for that interview. He's in northern Israel this morning.